Member for Dunkley. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. It is almost beyond comment that we have an Attorney General today supporting an inquiry into class actions with an argument that somehow seemed to be about parliamentary scrutiny and integrity when the manager of opposition business had to stand up and correct the record because the same Attorney General misrepresented him in the parliament. It's galling. And if it didn't happen in front of all of us today, I'm not sure any of us would believe that anyone would have the gall to even act in that matter. And if the Australian people want to know why class actions matter, I'll give them one word, asbestos. How many Australians had to suffer with mesothelioma? How many Australians didn't have anywhere near the financial resources to be able to, on their own, take on the giants, take on the giant legal firms, let alone the manufacturers of asbestos, and couldn't have done it without a class action. You know, and I'm proud to be on this side of the parliament and to be part of a party of people that stand up for those that need and have a history of standing up for people that need to be represented. If this government actually cared about some reforms to the legal sector, if this government cared about a legal sector that looked after vulnerable people the most, instead of taking up time today with this ridiculous motion and a pretense of caring about parliamentary scrutiny, they'd spend a lot more time working out how to give greater systemic support to community legal centres and legal aid centres across Australia. It's not enough in a time of a pandemic to say, well, at the moment we'll give you some more money, but then leave a sector that looks after the most vulnerable the most vulnerable of Australians scratching day to day for enough resources to do what they do. In my professional career before coming to this place, and now as the member for Dunkley, I have seen over and over again what community legal centres do for the most vulnerable in our community, for the people who are most in need. If we want to talk about doing something really important during this pandemic, which will contribute to an Australia that is better at looking after those most vulnerable once we're through it, we should be looking at how we can give long-term support to community legal centres like the Peninsula Community Legal Centre, which has continued to work and continued to work at standingly long hours to support people in Frankston and the broader Bayside and Peninsula area when they've been stuck at home with partners who were violent and little to no opportunity to get out and little to no opportunity to get advice about their legal rights because of the social restrictions, when they've lost their jobs and they haven't been able to pay the rent month to month and they don't know what to do and they need legal advice when people's businesses that they've built up over 25 to 30 years that have been the heart of themselves and their families have been destroyed in the blink of an eye and they've never thought before that they would need to access government support, had nowhere to go, the Peninsula Community Legal Centre were there for them. When people have been long-term homeless on our streets with mental health issues, with other health issues, have now had to work out how to protect themselves from coronavirus when they're told to socially distant and they're told the best thing they can do is stay at home and they have no home to go to, who have they turned to for help? The Peninsula Community Legal Centre. When people have had to go to court during these times when they can't leave their home to go and meet with a lawyer to get advice, who have they turned up to turn to when they've been at court for advice and representation? The Peninsula, Peninsula Community Legal Centre. If this parliament, if this government wanted to do something to address the fact that in our communities too many young people 
go straight from the child care, the residential child care system to the juvenile legal system to the criminal justice system, then we'd look into that. We wouldn't be having motions for referrals to inquire into class actions where battling Australians are able to band together to take on the big giants that they couldn't do on their own. If we had an Attorney General that really cared about parliamentary scrutiny, then he wouldn't have shut down the Leader of the Opposition every time he moved a motion to discuss something that the Prime Minister doesn't like. If we had an Attorney General that really cared about parliamentary scrutiny, then he'd make sure that his government responds to recommendations of royal commissions, responds to recommendations of parliamentary committees when they hand down reports, and implements them. But instead we have a culture warrior who wants to stir up controversy, who thinks that perhaps this is a good way to have a whack at those law firms who stand up for people that need someone in their corner when they need it. And it does a disservice. It does a disservice to our democracy, it does a disservice to this parliament, and it does a disservice to this government. We should be here talking about parts of the legal and the justice um, uh, system that doesn't work for the people who need it. We should be here talking about long-term systemic reforms, which includes proper funding to legal aid commissions, to community legal centres, to all of those pro bono services out there that are helping domestic violence victims, people who can't find affordable housing, people who at the moment can't work out how they're going to feed their children, people who need to go to VCAT to challenge a government decision that was ultra vires, to challenge a government decision which has caused them deep and ongoing pain, but they can't afford to do so. That's what this place should be talking about. That's what our responsibility is. And it should be to the never-ending shame of the current Attorney General that that's not what his focus is all the time, let alone now when all of those issues aren't bubbling below the surface. They're on top of the surface. When all of those issues aren't just the sort of communities that Labor people represent who have long-term and systemic disadvantage, where well, all of those issues are being faced by people who never thought that they would face them in their lifetimes. Everyone should be equal before the law, but we know that the law doesn't always treat people equally. And we cannot have a system where people who have money and resources get the benefits of a legal system and people who don't have money and don't have resources don't. That's why we have class actions. That's why we have community legal centres. That's why we have legal aid commissions, and that's what we in this place should be looking at to support.